Hey, it's Ken with Gold Strike, and today I'm going to show you how to install our trunk light on the 21 and up Gold Wing. So this is our trunk light with Light Strike technology. It's not too bad to put on, but there's a couple of little tricks you need to know, so let's get right to it. To get started, we need to disassemble this trunk lid. So um, we're going to be taking the whole thing off, starting with the backrest. And that is done by, there's two screws on each side, so there's one here and one there, and then there's one, two, three, four, five, six screws that loosen the rest of it. So um, we're going to take the backrest off first, just like this. One of the things you'll need to do later in the process is run the wires and to do that there's a center panel on the other side of this that you want to remove and these two screws hold it on. So you just remove those, leave them in your trunk so you can use them for later. So there's six screws Allen had screws like this that will hold the lid to the hinge. You need to remove all six of those. Now when doing this, you want to make sure you're still holding on to it. I've got one left bolt, bolt here left. When that bolt is taken out, that will be, this will be loose. So you want to be careful and make sure that you've got a good handle on it. If you have another set of hands, this is a great time to employ them. But it's not required. So we'll roll this over and you'll see there's a wire here. And that, by just squeezing the little fingers together, that'll pop right out and you can see right there. And then you can lay it back down. I got a blanket so don't scratch anything. So you wanna make sure if you have anything else wired in onto your trunk that uh, your wires are long enough that you can lay it back down. And now we're gonna proceed with taking the trunk lid in, inner liner off of the outer liner. There's 11 screws that hold this all together. There's one, two, three on each side. There's one in the middle and then there's two for each one of these little uh, hinge brackets. So I'm gonna start with those. Now notice, pop the screws out here, notice how these come out, the shape. So they have a little bend to them, and that bend points towards the rear of the motorcycle. So when you put them back in, you wanna do it like that and not like this, because if you do it the wrong way, when you go to close your lid, you're not gonna be able to. But I'll remind you when we do reassembly. Okay, all the screws are out. Now we're ready to separate one from the other. And this usually happens with a little bit of a snap. I like to just kind of grab just like that. You'll hear it snap. Now that is off. We'll just set this aside for the moment and we can proceed. Okay, we've got to drill a hole right here for where the um, wiring goes through. So I'm gonna put some tape over there and we're gonna find center on this. I'm just going to put the tape on here. And you just put the tape on because it helps to, um, it helps the paint from chipping when you drill the hole. So I said we're going to find center. And you can, if you want to get real crazy with it, you can measure from here to here and find the exact center. But I've done this more than once. We're gonna go like that. So once you've got center, we're gonna draw a vertical line and then measure an inch and a half from this point down and make a crosshair. So 
Let's do that. Double check them in the center there. That looks pretty good. So we're going to measure an inch and a half down from this, this edge right here and mark that hole. That's our inch, inch and a half down from the center here. We're going to use a center punch and make a mark so the drill will not walk around on us. That's all you need to do. Now we're going to drill a pilot hole. And when drilling in plastic, go slow. You don't need much pressure, just go slow and then you won't melt it. Now the next thing we're going to do is drill a larger hole using this step bit. And 9 16 is the size hole we need, so that's how big we're going right there. Now, where it says 9 16 it's going to be a little bit hard to see, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of tape. And this will make it easy for you to know that this is the level that you don't want to go past. is right there where that piece of tape is. So with that, we're just going to start drilling very carefully. That's our piece of tape, 9 16 and there's our hole. And what I like to do is I'm going to flip this over and go through the other side the opposite way to take off just that sharp edge. So now we're just going to push this through. I'm just going to slowly hit it like that and that just takes, it just takes the sharp edge off the inside so you don't pinch the wires. Next we're going to carefully peel the tape off. Another tech tip. When you're peeling around something like this, if you lay the tape flat against itself and peel, it'll almost never pull up the paint. Now we want to clean this thoroughly. Make sure you get all your handprints and wax and everything that's off on there, off of there. I'm using a ammonia-based window cleaner at this point. And make sure that it's perfectly dry and nice and clean before you go to put that on. Then we're going to fit the light and show you kind of how to position it and mark it so that when you put it on, you get it on nice and straight. So we have our light. We're going to run the, the power cables through the hole we drilled, just like so. Now we get to take our tape back out. And I'm going to put just a few pieces of tape on here. just to have some ready because what we're going to do is we will pull this wire through all the way and we'll use those pieces of tape to mark where the light should end up. So there's a line here that you want to follow and you want to make sure you're straight on that line and not crooked because if you're crooked one of the ends will, will, uh, will look funny. So you want to get straight on there and what I like to do can just come around like that and I'm just going to mark the end of where the tip needs to be on each side and that helps as a guide to get you going when you actually have to stick it down. And then this guide kind of helps you along the middle. So you kind of have something to aim for. You want to make sure you're nice and even there. And then we're going to pull the tape. And again, you're going to have one, one shot at this. Make sure that there's nothing binding here. So when you can go back, you can go in and out easy. 
because um, sometimes if, if, if this stops and pushes out funny, you'll get it to sit on there funny. So now, just take your time, line up those edges. Once you got it where you like it, well, there's good. Then push it on. Giving some nice even pressure, you can press right on the lens. And do this for about 30 seconds. Just move around, make sure you can wiggle the light a little bit, make sure you're getting that full contact. Then you just remove your tape. And the hard part's done. All right, with the light mounted, I'm gonna flip it back over to our work area here. And now we gotta run this wire. So we're gonna run the wire up out of this hole right here. It's a lot of wire. And then right here, I like to tape this wire down right here. Just put a piece of tape from here to here. It just makes assembly a lot easier for you. Now with that run up there, we can do the, um, we can put the inner liner back in. So I'm going to put these screws in. Um, I don't recommend using a heavy duty power tool to drill for these because it's easy to strip out those screws. So what I like to do is I'll just, I'll get them snug and I'll go around by hand and tighten them that way. I make sure I don't strip anything. And now like I said, I'm just going to go around here and snug these up by hand. Make sure we didn't strip anything out. Don't need to tighten them super tight. All right, that's all back together. Now we gotta flip that back up and put our bolts back in to hold it to the uh, hinges. So this part, if you have a second set of hands, it's very helpful because we gotta put these screws in and if you start it on the bottom hole here and here, when we flip this up, um, it works really, really well. So with my assistant, we'll flip that up and line up those screws. Start on that bottom one there. So now we'll just replace the other ones here. Tighten them up. And now that's nice and solid on there. So we're gonna close this to get the wiring done. Make sure that this wire is on the inside, like so. And then I've moved this wire through this hole up on top here. And we're gonna follow the factory route right along this wire here. And I'm gonna put some zip ties on here right now to hold that together. Okay, now back around the, the trunk side here, we're gonna wrap that wire alongside the factory wiring harness. And I like to zip tie these pretty tight together here because then they don't get pinched. Clip the end off. So the next you want to make sure that you have this piece here it goes into here that clicks in just like that. Now that's all nice and secure. Now we're going to take this wire here and we're going to run it down here to do that. We first need to remove this one small screw and then we can continue to follow this line down underneath the seat. 
once that screw is out, you'll be able to pop that off of there on the top. This is now flexible. We took the two screws out of the center panel earlier, so just pop that off, and that gives us access to this area in here. We're going to run this wire down. So I'll try to do it here. Behind this, and we're going to go around behind this too because we want that to come out. Just like this, we want it to come out right down here. And once that wire is out down there, now let's replace the center panel. Just like that, there's two screws on the back side. we'll get to that before we're done. And now we wanna run our, our wires to plug it into the 48,000 plug and play wiring harness. So if you don't have the 48,000 plug and play wiring harness, Go ahead and check the, the link below and it'll tell you all about it and even has instructions on how to install that. But that's right here and right here. They plug in there and there and that's how it runs the lights. So now we're gonna run our light. We wanna have it come in down in this area like that. We wanna run these wires underneath this bar and down into this area. So you gotta kinda of fish them through just like that. Run them under this guy. And now plug them in. Now there's a right and a left side. You want to make sure you get the sides correct. So the, the left side you'll notice has green, orange, and brown wires. And this has the green, orange, and brown wires. There's your left side. You plug that in. And the right side simply goes to the other side. There's a blue and a red. And that plugs in where the blue, brown, and green go just like that. So now you just want to check and make sure that your light works. Check it on. We've got run. Yep. We've got left turn, right turn, and brake. All right. Now we can put the seat top back on. Start out by not forgetting to plug in the heated seat. And then we Slap that down back in there. All right. So when replacing all these screws, it's good to do it slowly. And just loosely get them in there first. And we'll go around and tighten them all up at the end. And don't forget the ones on the side. Now we're just going to go around and snug these up and make sure they're all seated the way they're supposed to be. Sometimes you need to tap the seat to make sure that it's seated. It pays to take your time during this part so you don't strip out any of these screws because that's no fun. There is no really good way to fix it. So just take your time, be careful. We got them all, yep, and that's good. We'll just fold that down. There you go. So there you have it. Now you've got a really cool light on there, run, turn, brake, and with the Light Strike app, you can control all kinds of different animations for it. We have a whole nother video for that you can check out. We'll put a link down below. I'm Ken with Gold Strike. Go to goldstrike3d.com if you need to know what else we have for your bike, what colors these are, how to order, and everything you need. So again, thanks for watching, and let's go ride.